welcome back uh, dear professionals in this uh, video I am um, going to explain about uh, how to add the language to DSpace XML UI view so I think uh, normally you might have know how about uh, DSpace has uh, had uh, two views it's called uh, JSPay and uh, XML UI view uh, def um, DSpace by default it is supporting for the uh, English language suppose uh, if you want to add any local language um, so it is possible to we can add the language over here so presently DSpace is uh, supporting around 23 international language uh, like uh, Arabic and uh, French uh, Russian like so if you want to add uh, apart from this language you have to um, do the work so in this uh, video I'm going to explain how to add the Arabic language because this Arabic script is very different so you can easily identify uh, what are all the changes happen over here so if you want to add apart from these uh, 23 international language um, so you have to develop the you have to add the um, language and from uh, you have to translate the uh, language from English to the local language so now this is the um, D space XML UI view so if you change the language uh, these places the changes will happen so uh, especially these are these are all the place and uh, this uh, banner it is going to change and that first step is uh, you have to stop the tomcat before doing to uh, before start the work so The first thing uh, you should go to you have to change the um, language um, code into into uh, dspace 6.3 in the config file folder especially folder name is a local config and dspace config folder so first we need to go to um, in the c drive and in that one we have to select dspace 6.3 and here you need to go to dspace folder and config here you may find dspace config and local configs these first two folders are there here you need to change the you need to add the language so first you i'm going to open in the notepad plus plus so here you need to find um a language place so that um I have to find web UI supported localize so this is a web UI localize you have to provide can go to find so here you paste and just find out over here you may find here default localize is English so and also web UI supported localize are English comma I'm going to add Arabic language so you have to add Arabic code is Arabic language code is AR. So suppose you want to make it default Arabic, it is also possible. So when you want to make default Arabic AR underscore SA, SA means Saudi Arabia, or you may you have to mention in the caps like this way. That is country and the language code. So, so here I need uh, only English language as a default. So I'm going to select EN English so next thing is simply you can find any in other place i think there is no just save it so in another place okay here also there but it is no need because it is just giving example so no need to add over here first step is finished and second process is i need to go to I think uh, local config right now so just uh, simply go to again that same folder and um, here you can select uh, file name it is called local folder here also simply go to web um, UI supported localize so here you need to change here um, English comma yeah Arabic EN comma Arabic you have to add like this if you suppose you want to add some more language it is possible by inserting comma you can add another language so this is happen so like this in another same thing we have to do in um, a D space folder also so um, around four places in the four file we have to do these changes so just go to D space and the config folders mm. here also you will find same file so just mm, 
the what you have done previously the same thing you have to do over here so simply select bspace config and find the web ui and uh, here comma add yeah disk so one thing is finished so like this okay in the local config also the same thing you have to do I repeat you may find if suppose you want to add French comma fr French or Russia Russian are you you have to add so some these are all the language codes you have to add apart from this language so I'm going to add only English and Arabic so simply select and uh, close it so first step it has been finished right now so I am moving second process it's all about uh, we have we want to find uh, language folder because uh, D space it is already developed 23 international language codes so we have to find so go to D space and uh, XML web app XML high 18 hand here you may find all language how many language international around 23 international language like uh, Russian French Portuguese and um, English and Arabic all language codes are available here so first I am going to open Arabic language code right now this Arabic language already available so you may see parallel folder you can see here that uh, the user interface that is in um, all codes are showing here in the Arabic so this is also suppose I want to edit this code that is possible so simply go to you know open in um, notepad and whatever the language code here uh, we can edit it is possible so if you suppose I want to edit some um, font over here that is um, we can do it so simply go to um, go to Google uh, translate translator so here you select simply go to google translate uh, so in the left side you select in english language whatever you want type home page or anything so it is in arabic language it is going to whatever the language in the converting language you have to select it is going to show over there so my language is Kannada. okay wait so i'm going to type home page so it is going to appear in arabic so simply you can copy over here so whatever the language not only this arabic any language simply you can paste over here so it is simply paste and you can save it so like this if suppose you are not satisfied what is the translated by the d space team you can add your own code over here so around 3095 Mm, lines are there in those if you want to edit you have to edit around 3095 places so these things you have to keep in your mind so simply uh, this uh, code uh, the, uh, this file just simply copy and you have you need to copy and paste into um, another folder so these are all the language other language code so Dutch and different languages are there these are all the international language so first one is simply I knew I'm going to copy and um, I'm going to paste into the especially in the uh, D space and here I think uh, D space XML UI I think right suppose mm, not here Yeah, D space API not and the D space XML X SRC receiver search not receiver search I think no no not I think Wait. again you have to go to uh, D space XML UI SRC main web apps here you can find I18 so simply paste what you copied from these um, uh, D space language folder simply paste your um, Arabic 
language XML folder over here. So this is indicate we are going to add the language to XML UI view. So next process is uh, very important. In the we have to first identify what is the theme we are using. Normally we are all using the default theme is uh, theme of uh, XML UI is Mirage. So Mirage theme, uh, theme we are all using here we have to add one uh, coding so simply go to web apps and xml ai you may see theme folder over here so here you may see all folders like uh, mirage and all so this is uh, the theme it is developed by atman this uh, mirage tree that is um, developed by the atman so next here you have to go to mirage right just add it simply go here double click go to lib and um, xls core i think yeah core and here page structure dot xls okay here we need to add uh, the code uh, that is uh, related to what language you are going to add so just simply open with um, in uh, notepad plus plus this is a editing place you can easily identify simply in the middle of the folder around uh, line around 90 or 95 there we need to add this code so this is a div things so here default language first language it is selected uh, arabic and english is there okay these are from a to close it around uh, the href this code we need to change suppose you want to add apart from this language so now arabic i don't want arabic first first uh, one is uh, default language is english so and second i'm going to add second language here arabic so simply add this one okay suppose you want to add apart from this language apart, um, apart from uh, english and arabic language suppose i want to add russian language simply just copy from here to here so simply paste and you can add here whatever language you want to add so like the russian or maybe french whatever language you can add it that is possible so like extra language apart from english and arabic language you can add it that is possible so simply i don't want so these things simply delete so just copy down now uh, this um, this language code and uh, paste in the middle of the uh, this folder what you selected page structure folder so i am going to select so in the middle of the page around 302 line 302 line number 300 line so i am going to paste so here i paste the code simply save this one so this is the only these are only very simple work you have to do now again you start um, restart the tomcat and uh, you may find here so just go to your um, browser and uh, just newly launch xml so localhost 8080 and uh, xml ui simply type over here So you may find here, find, wait maybe two or three minutes it will take. So it is going to launch. So your language, whatever you want to add the language code. So it is going to add over here. Actually in future I am going to show um, how to add the language in JSP view. Until that uh, please wait so there is a lot of work we have to do so wait around two or three minutes for this process yes it is coming yeah 
it's coming okay here you may see default language is English so simply click uh, this Arabic so you may see changes here yeah the changes is just showing here okay you see header is changed and uh, this language right side and left side it is changed so these are all things not showing because while adding itself I added language as um, um, English so simply go inside you may see community and collection you may see these changes so the language uh, like whatever you want it is uh, it is changed so i try to add my native language canada but um, i'm still doing the work so that is also showing here so like this uh, you can change the language it is possible in the um, d space whatever the language by logging login itself while adding the content you can see simply log in, go to login and sign in so i'm going to select again arabic yeah wait yeah i'm going to select so while submitting the data suppose i want to submit one ebook something so if you submit any content i'm not understanding okay yeah suppose i want this in language in um, arabic it is uh, showing over here like this way so suppose i want to add um, any language so simply go to um, this arabic language i don't know anything so simply you can type in english in a google translation whatever you want so suppose i want uh, hal mama or something anything i can type so the translation will come to in the right side what language you want translation you simply you select al ahmad okay just simply i am going to select so it is showing uh, like this way simply copy this one so why i am preferring in um, uh, google translation means so it is uh, comes in the unicode so whatever the uh, unicode you are using simply it is going to show over here so whatever the unicode simply you select whatever the date and month is possible so this language also you can change it is possible so simply i'm going to paste so whatever the data set and language you can change it So my language is showing. Simply go next. I'm going to paste the same content. Yeah, I am adding some file. Because whatever the font you are going to add this web page it should be Unicode Unicode font if not Unicode it is not going to display so you may see here these are all things you can edit I will show in next videos so simply submit so I can see whatever the changes it is happen so go to home page I'm not understanding okay So the changes here yeah, I had it this language here you have Ahmad you can see here simply click here so inside it's going to appear this way so this like this um, suppose you want to type directly it is also possible so for that you need to add um, Google uh, translation tool and also it is called as so here Can type anything so in each browser suppose you have add uh, the Google input tools so you can type also it is possible directly if you don't have font software directly you can type whatever you want so uh, this uh, Google input tool also you can uh, download from the just go to google website and uh, simply download the google input type the google input tool and uh, set your language whatever the language you want so um, you simply you can type 
by selecting you need it um, fonts over here this is also one option uh, while searching the data over here I'm going to give so simply type Google input tool so I'm deselecting Google go to Google and type input tools so how to add I'm going to show I already added in my browser so simply go here you can you can here download or try it how to, if you click this one it is going to install to integrate to your browser so after integrate it is going to ask you which language you want you which language you want you can select and there is option so you can search the contents in your D space uh, your desired language this is possible so thank you for watching the videos and um, this one especially um, any if you have any doubts please dear friends thank you for watching the videos for more updates uh, please like share and subscribe my channel thank you thank you general manager